Hello, what's up, people? It's Vic Caesar once again, and I'm here to tell you that approvals on Adlisa are done within two working days, and those are the fastest. You can WhatsApp me, my number is up here. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you're watching me. Your boy Vic Caesar once again with some crazy content. So, today I want to answer why most companies are getting rejected in Adlisa applications, or why most people are getting rejected in Adlisa applications or cancellations. So, first guys, you need to know that most companies right now need workers. They don't want you to leave. This is the time that they need you most. So anyone who tries to leave the company, the company feels like you're trying to sabotage them. Why do you want to change a company when we need you most? So that's the first reasons why companies are canceling your applications for change of employment or sponsorship. And that's why most companies will even sacrifice their money to pay for your ticket back home instead of leaving you to join another company number two we have some greedy or envious hr not even sponsors sponsors are not even involved in this most people who are canceling the applications are expatriates who are in high ranks for example an hr human resource manager and the pro if there are those people who don't wish the best for others, they will always make sure they cancel your QID and send you back to your home country. Or they will give you problems. They will not want to sign the resignation letter. They will not want to put a stamp on it. They will not even write for you a release letter or even give you the company's computer card. Just because they are jealous that you are moving to a better company, a better job, a better salary, and they don't want that. They just want to make sure you stay there, you are retained there, you don't grow personally. So, what can you do to avoid all this? First, if you have made an application online on Adlisa, just resign but don't submit a resignation letter to them until they get a notification from Adlisa that you have been approved and they will be given a notice period by Adlisa. So once uh, you have a resignation letter, just sign it by yourself and send them an official email of a resignation letter later on after getting the approval. But for this, just resign and sign it yourself. Attach it when uploading all documents for change of sponsorship. So once they receive the notification from the Minister of Labor or Adlisa that you are moving to another company, then at that time you can send them an official email with a notice period of not less than one month. Okay, so if you want to give a notice period of less than one month, the extra days, be sure that your salary will be cut off or you have to pay for those days because according to the Minister of Labor, you are supposed to give a notice period of one month if you have worked less than two years or two years, but if it's more than two years, a notice period of two months. So if you don't want to serve your notice period, then you can pay them the an equivalent amount depending if it's one month, you can pay them your salary of one month just to avoid serving the notes period with them okay then you can move to the newcomer but guys why do you have to pass through all this stress when you can first talk to your hr in a good way give them a good reason why you are moving don't show them any attitude just go and talk to them nicely i know they may not listen not always that they will respond positively but at least try to explain to them um, the new job that i'm getting has this better benefits and since this company you have to praise them like since this company and you as an HR believes in building others and you know building careers for others this is a good stepping stone for me in my career kindly please and there are those people who are moving to their profession that they studied for so you can even tell them I'm moving to this um, because this is my profession that I studied for so a good HR will listen to you and will let you go but still, as I always say, if they're giving you stress, you can always reach out to me. I'll help you. I'll make follow-ups for you and you'll be getting your approvals in two working days. And in the other video, I also told you that we have now a better way to work things out. Freelance visas. You can just hit my number on the screen, plus 254-717-860708. And I can sort your issues out. So I'm making short videos, guys. It's Peace out, make sure you subscribe, share, and inform your friends.